tomorrow. Good evening, Guy. Good evening, Jennifer. Every hotel room in Prescott is booked tonight. Thousands of people, many of them firefighters from all over the world, are gathered in Prescott Valley tonight, preparing for tomorrow's memorial service. It's going to be held in an arena just behind me. 6,000 people inside, perhaps 20,000 people outside. And tonight, the preparations for the service continue. This is no ordinary memorial service. Something like this normally takes months to plan. But in just six days, with the help of hundreds of volunteers, firefighters, police officers, and hotshots managed to transform this hockey arena into a service worthy of the fallen. They're here setting up stages, setting up tents, doing things that they normally don't do on an everyday basis, but it allows them to be able to uh, you know, express their condolences in that way. This isn't Sean Johnson's first rodeo. He's the incident management commander for the New York Fire Department and has lived through tragedies like this firsthand. With 9-11, it was 343 funerals, and sometimes I didn't even know whose funeral I was at. Johnson says tomorrow's memorial will be a way for the community to come together to say goodbye. And tomorrow, more than 20,000 people will stand side by side honoring the fallen firefighters. It's unfathomable that 19 men lost their lives. And the families of the hotshots will sit in these front rows, and firefighters from around the world will file in behind them, filling the remaining seats. Outside, jumbotrons will stream the memorial for onlookers who will pack into this parking lot. If I have to stand five miles back, I'll be at the service. Crews will work late into the night to get everything ready in time for the families of the fallen to arrive in the morning. Also tonight, we're getting our first look at the program guide for tomorrow's memorial service. And the first page says, Our Fallen Brothers, a celebration of life. The program shows the survivor of the Yarnell Hill fire, Brendan McDonough. He will read the Hot Shots prayer. Vice President Joe Biden will speak as well as Governor Jan Brewer. Former Governor and Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano will also attend the service. Nine on your side will carry the memorial memorial service live. It's here at the Toyota Center in Prescott Valley tomorrow morning. Coverage begins at 11 a.m., probably a bit earlier. And as they continue putting the finishing touches on the preparations tonight here at the arena, just